What's up? Juice Daddy back in the GameCube out on a Sunday afternoon, Labor Day weekend. Game hunting, seeing if there's any garage sales out there. Where have I been? A couple of you have been asking that. And it has been a while since I uploaded, I understand. Well, summer was going great. I was getting lots of great games. Other stuff was going great. I was feeling good. I was getting out. And then I wake up one morning with a very severe pain on my lower left side. I knew exactly what it was. I got a kidney stone. And that put me on the shelf for about a week. And, uh, ow. Kidney stones ain't nothing to mess with. Nothing. Oh. So that put me out for a while. And then I kind of recovered, even though I went back to work. It was hard to kind of resume normal stuff. I was kind of exhausted. Because it took a little while, even after the initial pain subsided, it took a while for me to pass it. I was on some medications to try to ease pain and stuff and also try to ease it out. Long story short, it took a while to pass it. Then afterwards, I was kind of just exhausted. I had enough energy to go to work and then come home. Beyond that, after I passed my kidney stone, my gout flared up. So it was hurting to walk for a while there. I was limping around, you know, working, but I didn't want to get out and do a whole bunch of walking any other time. I still went game hunting as until I physically, like, listen, I need to go sit down somewhere. I can't do this right now. Anyway, long story short, that's why I haven't been around. In the midst of all that, I kind of did lose some interest in uploading. I've been putting some stuff aside, like, okay, I gotta shoot this pickup recap, I gotta shoot this, I gotta edit this, and it felt like work. It wasn't, it didn't feel like at the time like a hobby. It felt like me doing a job. This is supposed to be fun. I'm not getting anything out of it other than entertainment. Therefore, if it's not entertaining, then why do it? Even this, I've been saying I've been needing to shoot this for like the past three weeks. It's like, ah, oh, I'll get around to it. And the only reason I'm getting around to it now, really, is because I have a chair in my living room full of stuff that I want to put away and or list somewhere and sell. And I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to shoot a pickup video at some point for YouTube. Let me just keep it here. Well, it's time to fucking do it so I can get the stuff away or get it listed on eBay and Macari. Um, channel update... Because of everything that happened to me, the $5 game box kind of just stopped. I got a couple episodes kind of in the can and one I was in the middle of, but because everything happened, I wasn't making any sales, so money went down to like zero. So I've got some stuff I need to sell still and whatever. I've, I think I've got two episodes to edit and put together eventually, but I think I'm for right now, I'm stopping this season of the $5 game box. And maybe if we pick it up again, we're going to start fresh, start anew. Just me putting another $5 bill in and going. Not worrying about, you know, the stuff that I need to sell for the $5 game box. Not worrying, oh, next season we'll start with $120 because I made these sales. No, one $5 bill will go. That's where I'm kind of thinking right now if we pick it up again. Maybe I've proved my point with the $5 game box. I'm not sure. And that's that game hunting is still alive and well. Anyway, I'm heading home right now. I picked up a couple things. I do have a ton of pickups. So stay tuned. Got a ton of NES games. Um, the uh, local game store uh, closed for good last, last week. Last Sunday. One week from where I'm shooting this right now. 
So I picked up some, some stuff from his NES overstock, also his Atari 2600 overstock. I'm way too excited about the Atari stuff, I don't know why. Uh, and a few other things as well, including a really great garage sale find I had last week that I picked up for a dollar. So stick around, uh, it's Labor Day weekend. Whenever you're watching this, grab a cup of something to drink and enjoy, because we've got a lot of good stuff heading your way right now. All right, here we are back in Casa de Juice Daddy. I'm in my little command center, and as you can see, even though I've been kind of down, I haven't been completely out. i just been down from YouTube. So we got a few garage sale pickups here. Um, we got uh, Game Store, the local game store closing, and me uh, picking up some stuff, because he brought in his overstock. He's like, stuff that wasn't in his store, he took to like his parents' storage unit, and then he brought it out, and he had some gems in there. What else we got in here? Ah, oh, let's just get to it. Not game-related, but I thought this was cool. I was at a garage sale, and they had the fabulous Freebirds action figures from, I think, 1985? Yeah, 1985. Fabulous Freebirds. They were popular in, like, Texas, Georgia, Southern... What the action figures are doing at a garage sale in Montana is beyond me. And uh, Michael Hayes was never, ever, ever this ripped. But <laughs> for some reason, I couldn't pass up seeing the free birds at a garage sale. I may try to sell them because I've got no use. I don't collect toys really that much. Uh, not at all, really. And uh, somebody may want these uh, 80s fabulous free birds action figures. But I thought they were just so cool, I couldn't just leave them there. All right, um, let's do uh, today. Oh, I want to get this out of the way. I was going to show it. Look out for these uh, these mice, these trackball mice. I've sold a couple, and I always buy them for like a dollar or less. I bought this one for a dollar. I always, you know, if they work and you test them and clean them, although this one's in pretty nice shape, you can get 20 to $30 from them, so they're pretty nice. This particular model, the uh, comparisons on eBay don't really have, you know, 20-ish for uh, value. But still, for a dollar and after fees and stuff, you're going to clear about 15 Not bad. It comes with a receiver, a little install disc. Um, could be worse. I'm not, you know, there's a lot of people on YouTube who are primarily video game collectors and they're video game hunters that garage sales and whatnot, but they do a much better job than I do of finding stuff to resell on eBay to fund their collection. Shad Juice, of course, is one who just does an amazing job. I know a few things. Not everything, but a few things. One thing in particular that I actually took this advice from Shad Juice is um, at the garage, this is the only thing I picked up at the garage sales yesterday. It's brand new. I believe, because it's sealed, MacGyver The Complete Collection. Shad Juice is like, look out for DVD seasons. Well, this was sitting on a table. The only DVD at this garage sale, the only piece of media at this garage sale, no other DVDs, no CDs, no albums, just just, just this sitting on a table. 39 discs, all 139 episodes, and two TV movies. They had $5 on it. I didn't haggle up. I paid $5. I looked it up. Brand new. It's selling for like between $40, $45. I've got it listed. We'll see what happens. But, I mean, brand new MacGyver on DVD. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. Hoping for some good stuff. All right. Let's get some games. I picked this up today. These are actually in the car when I was uh, did my little... Where have I been thing earlier today? I went to the pawn shop and uh, picked up a couple Super Nintendo titles. I uh, paid $25 uh, for both, which is, you know, not too bad. Uh, Chaos in the Windy City, Michael Jordan didn't have that. And uh, I think this is worth about $25 on its own, although that label's in rough shape. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. They actually had this mislabeled as Mortal Kombat 3 and put 15 on it. Then they had a copy of Mortal Kombat 3 that they put an Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 label on, and they were charging $25 for it. So I think it caught them slipping just a little bit, yeah. 
So, yeah, cool. And also, uh, at that pawn shop, uh, they just kind of threw these in. They've been sitting there forever. Uh, Egg Mania and Picnic for the Atari 2600. As you may be able to see, I've got a little stack of Atari 2600 uh, recently. Okay. Nothing is as nice as going to a garage sale and seeing like a stack of PS2 games and that sticker saying all free. There you go. All free. Uh, nothing in particular, you know, striking, you know, whatever. Uh, Salt Lake City Olympics uh, in a blockbuster case. I got some PS, a PS2 system I need to test resell, so some of these games may be uh, going with that. Um, I'm mainly excited because the cases, except for this being a rental case, the cases are in pretty good shape. So, I mean, here's this uh, Madden 2005 that's not even in there. Case is good, though. Tiger, who gives a crap. NCAA football. Shucky Ducky. Uh, Madden, that's not in there. Madden, oh, that's not in there either. Problem is, that all these Maddens have this NFL sticker on the case. I to get that off. Uh, Madden 2004. And the only thing kind of worth a damn, worth about $10. Uh, Gun Griffin Blaze. A working designs uh, title. Mech game that was complete and in there. So, I think I have this already, but uh, maybe just a... A quick, you know, seven, eight dollar sale on Macari, make a little money, wouldn't be too bad. Also at that garage sale, they had a NCAA football 13 labeled for 25 cents, and uh, I only had a 20 dollar bill on me. Like I said, I have been off my game over the past uh, month or so since uh, the the kidney stone made its way through my body. I had no change on me. I also picked up. Follow that bird on DVD, oh, and they had ten cents on that. I was like, you know what? If you can just give me nineteen back, keep a dollar. So I paid a dollar for these two and got the games, cases, PS2 stuff for free. Uh, instead of football thirteen, of course, is starting to creep up because it's college football season. It's not as nice as NCAA football fourteen, but uh, what are you gonna do? Thirteen to fifteen dollars, not bad. Oh, let's see here. Another garage sale pickup. Roll it up and see this Game Boy Color in this Pokemon case for $9. Game Boy Color seems to be in decent condition. It works. I won't pull it out here. Inside the case, there was a uh, kind of a light attachment. And Tetris Plus. And Super Mario Brothers Deluxe. I'm going to try to sell everything here kind of separately. I'll put the Game Boy Color and maybe the Mario Brothers Deluxe because I have that. And see if I have any other Game Boy Color games. Maybe throw that up for 30 to 40 bucks. Um, the case I may try to sell separately for like 8, 9, 10 bucks. See what happens. But uh, that should, should make a little money there. So that should be nice. Why isn't it closing? There we go. All right. Amazon, uh, this is a while ago. Amazon, like, they, they're they doing some Prime dealio. And I got like a month of Prime for free. I'm not a Prime subscriber. And then they like had a 25% off day and buy a gift card, get $5 for yourself. So I bought like a $25 gift card to make it. Anyway, I basically got Captain Toad Treasure Tracker for like $25. Not bad. Um, I was sitting on some GameStop credit, so I picked up a couple things from them. Uh, Gremlins 2, the new batch for NES. And uh, Kirby Superstar... Six games in one for the Super Nintendo. A couple good finds there. All right. Let's get into these Atari... Now, I don't know if I need to hold up every Atari 2600 game, but uh, 
Let's just get to them. I think total for these 2,600 titles, I think I wound up getting them for $70 total, these three and a half stacks of games. Not everybody would pay $70 for a big stack of Atari 2600 games, but there are some good finds here. Um, just quickly, we have uh, Mousetrap, Phoenix. Also, I, I, with well, I didn't, I wasn't keeping track of the Atari 2600 games that I already owned. So amazingly, while I went through these and picked them up, I only duplicated three games I already had. So not bad. Battle Zone, which got like a current gen PS4 VR remake. This game right here, I played a ton when I was a kid. Journey Escape. You play as each member of the band Journey, and you gotta dodge a bunch of like groupies and evil managers and record execs to get to your starship. It's a really fun game. Got Gorf. Space Cavern. Galaxian. I don't think I've ever played the 2600 version of Galaxian. G.I. Joe Cobra Strike. I had this as a kid. It's a two-player only game. I think it's a paddle game. I always played it by myself because it was really fun. Like, the, you either played as Cobra or G.I. Joe. And as Cobra, you were literally a floating Cobra head using a giant freaking laser out your mouth to try to kill G.I. Joes running across. And I thought that was fun as hell. So I just, like, like G.I. Joe couldn't fight back, and the little troops were running from base to base, and I was just blasting the hell out of them. A lot of fun. Uh, Mousetrap again, the Coleco version. Bonus cartridge included with Gemini purchase. Huh. Star Master. Sword Quest. Popeye, that's one of my duplicates. Venture. Alright. Adventures of Tron. No artwork. What did I just drop? Planet Patrol. And then we have Donkey Kong and the Coleco Donkey Kong. If you're a fan of cartridge variants, the Atari 2600 is your system. <laughs> Amadar. Spider-Man. Another game I had as a kid and actually not bad. You scale up a building, um, and at the very top, you have to get past the green go goblin to defuse a bomb. Not a bad game. Lock and Chase. And graphically for 2600, it's not bad either. You can actually see that you're Spider-Man. Had this game too as a kid. Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. You're Luke in a jet pe uh, speeder, and you're trying to fight uh, at ats the walkers. And you got to get to the other end of them. They take forever to take down or occasionally either at the front, like right under their neck or on their, on their backside, like on their ass, a little like bomb shows up. And if you can hit that with your blaster, it immediately kills them. Or you can sit there and blast away at them, blast them until they destroy. So it's actually a fun game. Airlock. Omega Race. Mountain King, Buck Rogers, Planet of Zoom. All right. Midnight Magic, a little pinball action. Tack Scan, that's not a G, it's a C. Tack Scan. Hubert, another one of my duplicates I already had. Solaris. Vanguard. Sky Skipper. And Towering Inferno. All right, we got Mash. Taz. 
Dragon Fire. Commando Raid. Superman, which is about a $9 to $10 game by itself. Uh, I had this as a kid too. I don't recall it being great. Because you can enter a phone, you start as Clark, and you gotta find a phone booth, become Superman. I wasn't quite sure what you did after that. <laughs> Space Shuttle. And we have some games that actually have a little bit of value. Strategy X. About a $10 game. Commando. $10 to $12 game. Plaque Attack. About $10 to $12. Pitfall 2. About an 18 to 20. Probably not in that condition, though. And uh, Tunnel Runner. About another 16 to $18 game. So we're definitely got $70 worth, and you break it all down, you're looking at about $1.50. And uh, if I get $1.50 of fun out of each of these games, I think I did well. Um, I think I'm kind of done collecting for $2,600. Just having... My collection basically has come in two large bundles, both from the retro video game store. Once, I just was looking through, he's like, I'll sell you the whole box for 20 and I took it. And then these, when he pulled out his uh, overstock for 2600 because he knew I was looking for it. I'm like, you've told me multiple times you have a bunch of 2600 games just sitting somewhere in a storage unit. Bring them in. I like to go through them. I want to get some. He finally did as he was closing the store. So, yeah, I don't anticipate, I mean, I found these two at a pawn shop. They've been sitting there for a couple of years. So nobody was looking for them there. I really don't know where I would find 2,600 titles. And unless it's a, like an Akari Warriors. I'm trying to think of titles I would actually buy if I saw them. Akari Warriors, Hero, um, any of the porno games. I'd buy those just for curiosity. Um, I don't... I don't anticipate myself eBaying like, man, I absolutely have to have Akari Warriors on 2600. Let me eBay that right now. There's actually one game I'm thinking about eBaying because it's pretty cheap. I'll get it for like six, seven dollars. And it's called Name That Game. I remember having it as a kid. And you play a little thing and you're trying to fight off a big giant octopus while a shark is chasing you. And I think there was a contest where you, if you bought it within a window and played it, you sent in your suggested title for the game, and the winner got like $10,000 or something. It was literally called, on the box, name that game. I don't know what it was named. I don't know. I think maybe the, the, the video game business crashed before they had a chance to name the game. So, But I remember I have fond memories, because it was actually a pretty fun game. It, it was a decent title. So outside of that, I think I have everything that I really remember playing and loving. Except for Miss Pac-Man. I don't own Miss Pac-Man. And Miss Pac-Man on 2600 actually isn't too bad. It's a lot better than Pac-Man for sure. Pac-Man notoriously sucks. Miss Pac-Man is good. I want Junior Pac-Man too. So maybe there's like 5 to 10 games that I might be on the lookout for and buy eventually. But as far as buying huge stacks like this, probably not going to happen again. Unless it's this ridiculously cheap. And I notice there's not a ton of duplicates in there for me. All right, I'm going to pause this and put these away, and we'll get to these uh, NES titles here in just a moment. All right, rearrange some stuff and created some room right here to stack up these NES games, so let's get to it. Um, everything that's not in the package came from the video game store, so let's get to the packages first. I think I bought these both off of eBay for making some sales and having some PayPal credit or whatnot. This one came from... Rustdale, Pennsylvania. Guardian Legend. It's a game I've been uh, kind of wanting. It's good to have. I believe this is a highly rated game in the uh, Ultimate NES Guide that uh, Pat the NES Punk did. And it's not ridiculously expensive. So, glad to have that. Here's another one. This, this is Macari. I know I have some Macari credit too. Still doing the $5 game box game goals. I'm going to have a couple things to add to that. Um, depending on how I finish this up. 
think I'm going to edit the one or two episodes I have and then kind of do a recap of the stuff that I bought but wasn't really filming because I was just not into it, not feeling well. Um, but I have made some uh, $5 game box sales. I'm not sure going forward if I'm going to keep my $5 game box sales separate from just the sales I make, period, and just kind of chase some goal games, selling stuff I find on in garage sales or thrift stores, like that mouse or like the MacGyver setup. So we'll see. Anyway, coming to us from Carmichael, California, Journey to Silius. Silius? Si whatever. It's another highly rated game, Sunsoft game. It's in nice condition. Glad to add it to the collection. All right. Let's just get to these NES titles. I think I paid... What was he doing? I think he was doing four for 30. And I'm not sure how many I've got here. Uh, so, you know, we paid a little bit of money, but we added 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 18 games to the, uh, to the old collection. Adventures of Gill Gilligan's Island. Game I had as a kid. Uh, did they make a non tension cart? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think they did because I've got an NES version. Indiana Jones and Temple of Doom. I liked, I mean, I like the arcade version better. I think I'm one of the few who enjoyed that game. I like the, the arcade version and I like the NES version. It was a little bit different, of course, because they couldn't do the same as the arcade, but I really did enjoy it. Arkanoid. I uh, wish I had the controller for Arkanoid. King of Kings, the early years. Little Bible game. All right. Unlicensed biblical stuff. Roller games. Mystery Quest. Here's a good one. Tailspin. Capcom game. Capcom Disney game. Load Runner. Another Tenjin game. We got Shinobi. Some dude went through this overstock like literally 10 minutes before I got there. And he set some games aside for the guy to clean and he'd come back the next day and pay for it. One of them was the Tenjin Fantasy Zone. I wanted that Fantasy Zone so bad. I'm actually eyeing a few eBay uh, sales right now that have um, both Alien Syndrome and Fantasy Zone, the Tengen carts. Probably whenever the next pickup video happens, you're going to see me holding those two because I don't think I'm going to be able to resist getting those. I want the Fantasy Zone. I almost want it worse than the Radiant Silver Gun I've got on the $5 Game Box Game Goals. Burger Time. Mad Max. Look at Mel sitting there on the cover of an NES game. Oh, uh, ooh, this is a good one. Godzilla. Does anybody you Am I the only person who doesn't use the dust covers? I've got two bags of them back there in my bedroom. That I'm just like, should I sell these? I don't keep my carts in them. I just don't do it. If the game's worth something, got some value, I put it in a protective sleeve. But I don't use these. Oh, another Bible game, Spiritual Warfare. Another dust cover. Oh, this is probably the best one in a lot. Too bad it's got the mark. I could probably get that off with a pad. It's Ghoul School. That part's a little beat up, but not bad. Pac Mania? Foxes, Peter Pan, and the Pirates. Hmm. Raid on Bungling Bay. I'm gonna clean that up a little bit too. I don't mind the rental stickers. I just I don't like the uh, actually the rental stickers. You know, see where it came from. Oh, this is actually a warning. If you remove the label, you're you're screwed. I wanted to get a sharpie off. Finally. Silver Surfer. 
Thanks for turning in your game, Zach. Good job. All right, so we got a nice little stack of Nintendo. I'm going to think I'm going to find another place to put my NES carts because I'm on my fourth drawer of them, and this is definitely going to fill it up, probably overfill it. All right, two more finds. Also, at, uh, at the same time I got the NES games from the game store, he's had this sitting there for a while, and I asked him how much he wanted for it. He's like, well, I'm closing, and, you know, uh, so we got Virtual Fighter Kids. I think I got it for 20 20 bucks in really great shape. Even has a foam still in the thing. Disc is in good shape. Love adding to the Saturn collection. And there's another one. Virtual Fighter Kids is Virtual Fighter as kids. Kind of quirky, kind of cute, kind of cool. Saturn Fighter. And finally, right? One more find. I got this at the garage sale last week. Huge garage sale. Tons of stuff. Tons of people. It was a group that was holding a sale for like a fundraiser. Absolutely no video games there. Hardly any media. There was two DVDs, like four CDs. I go over there. I'm eyeing the toys and I see this thing sitting there. I pick it up. I ask how much. And then somebody walks over. What is it? I'm like, well, it's a, it's for, it's a, it's a video game controller. Well, how about a dollar? Brand new, never opened platinum Nintendo GameCube controller. Brand new. In the little clamshell. This is about to go, this is why I really wanted to shoot this video and get it done and get it uploaded. Because this thing needs to go on eBay tonight. We're looking at at least an $80 bill right here, Brando. Let me tell you, I can't wait to get this thing up. And this is going to get us, well, depending on how I do stuff, it's going to either get us closer to Radiant Silver Gun or get some good stuff in our collection. Because I don't need, I've got plenty of GameCube controllers, even if I needed one. Why would I open a brand new Nintendo GameCube controller? Hopefully somebody, a big collector, wants an inbox controller for a buck. Not another... I even asked, you got any other video game stuff? No, we never gamed at all. How in the heck... Did... How'd you get this? I don't know. So as you can see, even being kind of down and out, kind of on the mat a little bit, I haven't done too bad since the last time you saw me. Um, like I said, I've got a couple game box episodes to edit. Um, trying to remember where I left off. I have to check on YouTube to see where I left off. But if I think I left off where I think I left off, oh boy, <laughs> I've got some good stuff. Uh, one in particular, uh, one in particular, a really good Super Nintendo title. Um, a couple good PlayStation 1 titles. Yeah. And, uh, oh, by the way, the I had $35 in my Game Fund wallet. I went to one sale one morning. I early birded about 30 minutes. They started at 8. I got there about 7.30. I spent the $35, got about $250 to $300 worth of games, and all of them but one I think I need to flip. So we're going to get some money out of that as well. Some good finds. I didn't wasn't really shooting anything, unfortunately, so it may just be kind of a, a $5 game box while I was out episode after we get caught up. So uh, that's the update here in Casa de Juice, Danny, and what's been going on. Um, I'll try to be a little bit more aware or, you know, take time to edit and get some stuff uploaded and stay regular. I'm kind of finally returning back to normal, getting my energy back up. Um, unfortunately, it's all hitting at the time where garage sales are kind of going way down. Um, so that's where we're at. Did you miss me? <laughs> uh, thanks for the, the, the couple people who sent along like, hey, where are you at? Hope everything's all right. I appreciate it. Everything's fine. Just uh, kidney stones are a bitch. Talk to a woman who's been pregnant and also had a kidney stone. 
Tell her which one she'd rather go through again. Ask her. Ask her. Not complaining. It just... <laughs> with, with, with the opium epidemic in the United States of America, when I go into the ER and they're like, here's your prescription for some freaking oxy. Go! <laughs> like, you know it's like, yes, here's some painkillers. Go, go, go. All right. Uh, take care, y'all. Leave a thumbs up if you wish, if you could. Uh, subscribe if you want, because I just discovered my 300 sub subscriber um, contest bag of stuff that I've been collecting, like NES, Super NES, Wii. Uh, there's a Master System game in there. All these games I was going to give away if the channel ever reached 300 subs. And I know it's partly due to me being gone, but we're not really close to 300 subs. We're kind of closer to 250, but we need to get a lot up to get 300. If, you know, if this thing stalls, I don't know what I'm going to do with those. But I've been I've been holding out for you guys to hold a contest once we reach 300 subs. So if you think other people would like my channel, like kind of say, hey, check out Juice Daddy. And I'm just sitting here rambling. Take care, y'all. Hopefully I'll see you soon. You'll see the old version before Kidney Stone, Justin. And if I get a couple of videos uploaded, because I had a lot of footage shot. A $5 game. And another pickup. Oh, I forgot. this. I spent $150 from this local guy. Picked up a whole bunch of stuff. I shot two segments, and I was going to shoot one more that had like the really good stuff in it. And then the next morning, I had the Kidney Stone. Knocked me right the hell out. So I got to do that. And there's some good stuff in there. It's definitely worth more, a lot more than the 150 I paid for it. So there's some content coming. Just I need to stop being lazy and put it up and motivate myself to get it up for you. I will see you really soon. Take care.